Hello everyone, this is Bella Mehta reporting from ULAR 2024 and I have a friend with me, um, Vincenzo Vinitero uh, uh, from Italy and um, wanted to, uh, I came across this interesting abstract with him uh, looking at MRIs in Axial Spa. Uh, can you tell us more about your study? Absolutely and uh, thank you Bella for uh, the invitation, it's a pleasure to be on uh, now. Uh, yes, uh, we uh, use uh, radiomics uh, to try to investigate the uh, information contained into bone marrow edema of uh, active sacroiliitis in patients with axial uh, spondyloarthritis. Um, actually, uh, we um, do not have uh, any minimal invasive uh, procedure to assess histopathology information of uh, uh, bone uh, marrow edema as uh, we do uh, for uh, synovium, uh, for instance. That's why we borrowed a methodology from our cousin, uh, the um, oncologist, uh, radiomics. Uh, what the, so what, what is radiomics for like an average rheumatologist. It sounds fancy, but I want to know what does it do? Absol uh, absolutely. Um, you have to imagine that uh, um, any imaging test uh, is a, a result of uh, the interaction of uh, a physical phenomenon, a magnetic field, uh, ionizing radiation, ultrasound with a tissue. So this interaction in physics uh, provides uh, a plethora of uh, physical parameters, the so-called radiomic feature, that are dependent from uh, the moon um, mean energy, but also uh, from the tissue histopathology. And uh, uh, this radium feature can be, of course, elaborated to provide you the DICOM, as uh, you know it, but uh, um, they can also be analyzed as uh, Row uh, continuous uh, variable uh, via uh, statistical modeling or uh, machine learning to predict any outcome in so, oncology. Uh, so uh, so the DICOM images are like MRI images. Yes. Uh, and you do statistical modeling with machine learning to do this. Yes. Uh, um, yes. On the radiomic fissure extracted by um, bone marrow edema segmentation in uh, steer cells. So what we did, uh, what we did uh, uh, it's uh, uh, quite simple. We opened our diagram on a software called Trade Slicer. Trade Slicer comes uh, with a tool that uh, uh, can allow for uh, the uh, semi-automated segmentation of any uh, lesion. It's uh, um, incredibly easy to um, segment the bone marrow um, uh, edema on a uh, steer sequence because of the difference um, in uh, intensity. Then we extract via some Python uh, um, API um, the so-called radiomic feature. There are 120 radiomic feature that we um, extracted, we normalize that, we check for autocorrelation, and then um, we retain the 39 of them. With that 39 radiomic feature, we build a, a very straightforward uh, um, multivariate Cox radiation model to try to um, predict TNFI um, discontinuation in patient with uh, axial spondyloarthritis. We did, we uh, had uh, uh, um, low sample size, this is a uh, um, proof of concept study, but actually we uh, found two uh, independent predictor of uh, TNFI um, the discontinuation, the elongation and the sphericity. Sphericity is the roundness of uh, the um, bone marrow edema. And the uh, elongation is the ratio between the two principal components. So let's think to ratio um, between uh, um, uh, horizontal axis and uh, vertical axis. Mm -hmm. Actually, we found that uh, our model um, had a goodness of fit for short-term uh, prediction. With the mid-term to long-term uh, prediction, it fails. But uh, we demonstrated potential of um, radiomic uh, fissure for uh, um, predicting treatment outcome. Yeah. For me, the most fascinating aspect of uh, uh, radiomics is that uh, MRI, together with uh, radiomic analysis, may surge uh, as, uh, not only as uh, a diagnostic exam, but also as uh, a prognostic procedure. And the prognosis was within three months or six months? Uh, actually, our uh, um, medium, our mean uh, follow-up time was about uh, 30 months. Okay, so it's a yeah. pretty good time. Yeah. Uh, so just using MRI features, extracting radiomic features, 
um, you know, and there's a lot of studies right now talking about diagnostic potential, but you also sort of, it caught my eye because it's also showing prognosis, saying, Absolutely. will this patient be on a TNF inhibitor or not in the next few months? Absolutely. Is that right? Absolutely. Absolutely. The, uh, it's right. And uh, actually, the added value of the full radio mechanism is time-saving because uh, this is uh, incredible fast to do. The whole process for a single patient um, takes uh, only uh, one minute and uh, um, three or five seconds. A time-saving and people who are not radio logically trained can also use this. Uh, yes, uh, actually, um, for uh, semi-automatic segmentation, we also employ uh, um, uh, dedicated radiologists, but uh, I can uh, um, I can swear that uh, with the, the tool provided by the um, uh, platform, uh, the uh, segmentation is quite easy to perform. That's great. So, uh, again, uh, you know, we've loved your work, uh, Vincenzo, so and more to come. Uh, any one last line that you tell viewers to look out for the future? Oh, I think that uh, we need uh, to uh, validate uh, the, this data on uh, uh, external uh, court uh, before adoption. We have to compare that with Spark. Also, mm -hmm. it's, it's important to compare with the standard, uh, the, the, the gold standard from uh, um, bone marrow uh, edema mm -hmm. quantification. And uh, after oh. that, uh, who knows? Probably this uh, could uh, help uh, um, us uh, rheumatologists. Yeah, well, let's get these into mainstream. And with that, uh, signing off here from Eular, uh, Bella Meta. Um, thank you. And uh, thank you so much for coming. Thank you.